it's and new tonight. First up at six o'clock, the man who injured a 12 year old girl in a dramatic hit and run crash will spend two years behind bars. 33 year old Chase Linerud pleaded guilty to hitting a 12 year old girl last summer and leaving the scene while drunk. News 5's Lena Halland joins us live from outside the El Paso County Courthouse where the sentencing hearing just wrapped up and Lena, the victim and her mother were there for this. That's right. It was an extremely emotional afternoon in court today, filled with many, many tears as the two teenagers involved with this crash were forced to relive what happened on that day back in June. Now, both told me they were relieved that this is finally over. And for the most part, they were happy with the judge's decision. Now, the judge sentenced Chase Linerud, as you mentioned, to two years behind bars and three years parole. She said she doesn't want him to get comfortable in prison and she wants him to be miserable the entire time. As we've reported, this was his third DUI offense back in June. His second was only a month prior in Cripple Creek, where his license was never taken away. His first was only his first was 10 years before 13 year old Laney Parsons spent nearly a week in the ICU recovering and Linera spent one night in jail and walked free until today. While the emotional and physical scars might last a lifetime on this family. They tell me they felt a sense of relief seeing Linerod taken away in handcuffs just moments ago. It's not a probation alone type of offense. So we were happy even though it wasn't maximum. I agree that maybe a couple years and then hopefully he'll be able to really change his life. Now, Linerud will also have to pay court costs and restitution for the nearly $300,000 in medical bills. His family did not want to talk to us today immediately after this sentencing. Now, coming up tonight at 10, we will hear from those two girls involved in this crash on how they plan to move forward. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs. Lena Howland, News 5.